Hiya. Hiya. How's the investigation progressing? Oh. Take it you've spoken to Finn? Yeah. Oh, dear. Sounds like it was fruitful. Well, if by fruitful you mean one step forward, two steps back... Well, that's not really the definition I go by. Well, basically, I got Finn talking about his dad and the inquest, and guess who walks in? Really? Do you think she knew what you were doing there? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I just made my excuses and I left. I didn't want to stay even with Finn there. Are you sure you're not kind of overestimating what you think Emma might actually be capable of? Oh, dear. Been provoking the mad witch of the north, have we? No, no. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. Well, don't go rubbing her up the wrong way. Not unless you've got body armour and maybe a decent monkey wrench to hand. Oh? Oh, I've seen what she's capable of, believe me. I'm sorry to do this to you at the last minute, Sam. I hope you didn't have any plans. It's the removal men cried off. I was supposed to be going to a do tonight. I don't, I don't suppose I'll be back in time for it, will I? From St Ives? I doubt it. I mean, we're not planning on setting off for another couple of hours. Still got a few things to pack. Uh, speaking of which... I know, I know, I know. Uh, I expect we'll have to put you up in a hotel. Oh, well, I weren't that fussed for going any road. It was only Yagwas ball thing. Yagwas? The young agriculture workers ball. I won tickets in a raffle. <laughs> Didn't have anyone to go with any road. OK, well, uh, you'll be following Ronnie and me in the car. Right, I'll go and bring truck round. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be with you in a second. Oh, don't look at me like that. We'll have a lifetime together after today. You can't blame me for being impatient. Oh, of course not. Still here, then? Yeah, and he's, uh, staying a bit longer. I mean, it's not like we haven't got a spare room, is it? Two more after today. Told you, it's under control. Yeah, and you were noticeably lacking in detail. I want to know what happened. Look, all right, he's not coming back. Grandad, just stop worrying about it. It's dealt with. Lawrence, Lawrence. We've got stuff to do. Hey. Oh, caught the postman on the way over. Thanks. Looks like it's all junk. Water. OK. Oh, don't worry. It was bound to happen. Easily dealt with, though. See? Look, why don't I go through it all for you? Take anything with his name to the recycling. It's fine, honestly. Besides, I need to think of a more permanent solution to remove him from my life. Yeah, I mean, maybe stealing someone's private prayers for public entertainment wasn't the classiest moment of my life. You think so? So you heard her say that she felt guilty about something? Well, yeah, it... Well, here's the point. As I was walking back after a rather eventful psychic session in the pub, she runs at me out of the shadows and she's got this brick, hasn't she? A brick? What you build houses with? Yeah, no, no, I know what brick is. Uh, wait, anyway, I, I swear she was going to hoik it at me when divine intervention came in the form of Harriet and the minibus, which struck me as ironic and struck Emma as, well, a minibus. Some service might be nice. Ah, sorry, didn't see you there. There's no natural light in there. And the description of it is a box room is insulting to boxers. Oh, and today there was the added plus of Eric Pollard's breakfast banter. Ah, oh, Mr. Sugden, how do we like our eggs in the morning? Fertilised? It's gonna cost you a fortune as well, you know, if you're there for a while. It's not cheap. I didn't really sleep either. No, it's not easy, is it? Splitting up. No, we just have to decide what to do next, that's all. I think it's really obvious. She'll move in with us. I think. What? So? It's hardly the most sensitive thing for him to hear. Well, what do you care? You're over, aren't you? Yeah, but it still doesn't mean I want him spiralling out of control. And if he thinks I'm effectively moving in with Rebecca, then... Then he's got other people there to deal with it. I'm sorry, Robert, but you used to always be really good at looking out for number one. You're off your game. We have a 
What's this? Moving present. I was going to give it here yesterday, but... I went all morose on you, right? I'm sorry. Moving is supposed to be very stressful, you know. <laughs> Thanks. In 12 hours, we'll be looking at the sea, drinking that, and living the dream. Well, sounds just right to me. Hey! This is a really good bottle. Well, only the best. What was the phone call? Please tell me that it wasn't work. Oh, there's still the odd loose end to tie up. Isn't it? Look, I know it's hard to let go, but this is everything we've been aiming for. <laughs> oh, here you are. You have a visitor. Oh, yeah. I'll come to see you before you go. <laughs> Lisa, uh, yeah, I, I need to speak to you about Samson's tea. Oh, I'll come and have a word with you in a bit, love. Ah. Could you come and spend a bit of time with me, please? I don't know when I'm going to see you after today. Well, I am supposed to be helping Ronnie with the packing. Help? You're more of a hindrance. You go with Chrissy. You, you don't mind if I abandon you? Oh, I'll make the best of it. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm going to be losing you. I wouldn't count on me leaving just yet. I'm not saying that Lawrence is digging his heels in, but I'm actually wondering what the law is about using a tranquilizer gun. You know, out he goes. Hello, Cornwall. <laughs> You'd have to do all the driving. It'd be worth it. If only I didn't have to deal with him blowing hot and cold all the way down. It's got to be a big step for him. You know, he's going to be leaving behind his family, giving up work and everything. You could try being a bit more sympathetic. Don't play the reasonable card with me, missus. You're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, he looks rough. <laughs> so do you. At least he's got an excuse. You don't think he's dead, do you? No. Not yet, anyway. So, I'm guessing you're probably hungry and a bit thirsty and wondering what we're planning on doing next. Well, we thought we'd include you in the process. So while we're all thinking about that, we'll get you a drink and something to eat. And then, you can help us decide whether to drive you out of here in the passenger seat or in the boot again. The thing is, for any of this to happen, the tape has to come off. And I need to be sure that you're not going to make a sound. OK? I'll have that apple if he don't want it. Help! Help! I'm not seeing Lachlan this morning. I don't even know if he's up. Oh, yes, he's up. Problem? Oh, he's still got that ragamuffin hanging around. What? What's that noise? Cheers, Bob. Aaron. I don't know if you caught what Vic was saying. We've got better things to do than eavesdrop on you, mate. I know, but, um, what do you want? I would never move in with a wrecker. <laughs> Why would I care? You need somewhere to live, don't you? Right then. Come on, we've got work to do. Adam. Adam. He's gonna be all right. Like, really. He's not gonna hurt himself. He's fine. He's got me looking after him, hasn't he? Well, there you go. Sounded like a green light to me. Yeah, I guess it did. Get off me! Help! Help! Shut up! Simon! Chrissy, help me. What on earth are you doing? Take him down now! I can see where he gets his psycho streak from. Put him up to this, did you, to warn me off? To warn you off what? Please tell me you're not bringing this up again. Well, you've barely said a word all morning. Because there's nothing to say, mate. Robert can't stay at the B&B forever, can he? So it's logical that he moves in with Vic. And you're all right with that? 
He'd be moving in with Rebecca. <sighs> I don't give a monkeys either way, mate, honestly. It's like this whole thing's out of you to deal with, isn't it, mate? I just, just want to make sure you're all right. Meaning I'm going to hurt myself. Well, no, I'm not all right. It's not going to happen. If you're that worried, I promise you I'll have a word with my counsellor. Be shut up about it then. Yeah, fine. Good. Got another drink? I'll get you one in now before I go. Why, where are you going? Meet my uncle Zach. Bit of business, that's all. So? Yeah, yeah, go on, I'll have another half. Uh, Charity, another half for him, please, and uh, orange juice for me. Cheers. I'm sorry, what? An orange juice? Huh. Hello, who are you? What have you done with Aaron Dingle? Yeah, tell me about it. Right, so Lisa's going to be giving you tea tonight, OK? Didn't you say something about going to that ball thing? Yeah, well, I can't. Looking forward to that. You made up when you won them tickets. Well, because I never went out. I don't want to go on my own to some daft disco, do I? I thought it was a ball. It says ball on the tickets. Yeah, well, it'd just be some mobile disco with posh clothes. Not to get worked up about. Sam Dingle, I will not hear you maligning one of the world's greatest art forms. You what? Disco. Style. Flair. Glamorous, some of the most skillful musicianship to come out of America in the early 70s. And not to mention the dance craze that it unleashed on an unsuspecting world. Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? Sort of. I, I can't dance. You've seen me try. That was ballroom. Much less spontaneous. From the minute I saw you, I could tell there was a John Travolta bursting to get out. Who? There really is it. Well, if there isn't, I'm going to teach you. You can dance. You know you can dance. No, I can't. Go on, clear some space, and I'll be there in half an hour. I'll teach you some moves that make Leo say a blush. <laughs> and I want you suited up and all, preferably a white one. Looks like you've got your orders, son. No, I, I can't do it. I, even if I could dance, I, I've got to drive old Lawrence's stuff down to Cornwall. The bloke they hired's called in sick. That's tough buns on them, then, isn't it? What are you doing? Lawrence's answer phone. He must be busy. Hello, it's Lydia calling for Sam Dingle. I'm afraid he's come down with a stomach bug. We think it might be food poisoning. Or maybe bird flu. Anyway, he can't come into work. He's ever so sorry. Bye. There you go. Samuel Jonah Dingle, you shall go to the ball. She's your fairy god girlfriend. Nah, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, go? You're part of this now. Sorry, mate, it's just... it's all got a bit intense. What guarantee do we have that you won't say anything? My natural honesty and discretion. Oh, just leave, Jerry. Be seeing you. What is wrong with you? I was trying to help. You're all insane. Well, someone better start talking. <laughs> what is this? Honour amongst thieves? Lucky? What would possess you to do such a thing? I was protecting you. So I start showing an interest in this man and you abduct him. Can you tell me what exactly you're protecting me from? And you're being uncharacteristically quiet? Just know we had your best interests at heart. If you don't do better than that, I'm going to lose it. What was Simon threatening that you were protecting me from? I'm your uncle. My name isn't Simon. It's Tim Richards. Chrissy, I'm your real father's brother. Dead father's brother. I've been thinking about it for a while. And now that it's over properly, I should sort of divorce out. Well, what about an annulment? It'd be quicker, surely. My training's as a vet. Marital law is not my area of expertise. You were barely married to Pierce, is what I'm saying. Be a lot simpler, too. What were you saying earlier in the cafe? Never heard the phrase, mind your own. Oh, don't you just love the vibrancy of village life? Not remotely narrow minded or dull. I heard my name. Oh. oh. So you were listening in when you shouldn't, and now you're assuming the worst. That's not like you. Ladies, is there any chance we can just put a pin in this? Because I'm absolutely bursting. 
Having said that, why did you just record the entire conversation for me? Hmm? No? Okay. I'm not stupid, you know. Laurel's been through a lot and she might not be thinking straight. So, what did she say? Just that you might have a bit of a screw loose, that's all. I mean, I may possibly not have helped the situation by mentioning our joint experience with a brick. Physically sick. I know you're angry. Angry? Is that some kind of joke? This is a nightmare. What are you, some kind of sicko? No. Oh, I'm sorry if I offended you. What's happening? Not now. He's told me how dangerous my real father is, so you coming here and stalking me seems pretty much with the family tradition, but I I'm sorry if I've hurt your feelings. Oh, we're talking dangerous, are we? When he's had me beaten up, not to mention him, having me bound and gagged overnight. What? And as for what he's told you, OK, that's enough. How come you're not asking yourself if any of it's true? Why the hell would I? I'm in a room with a blood relative that I wanted to... You came here and let me throw myself at you, my own uncle. Why on earth would I believe anything you say? So just go. Will you make him get out? You heard her. We tried to warn you off, tried to spare her this. Yeah, that's what you were doing. Well, she knows who you are. Now leave. Doesn't know the full story, does she? I mean it. Doesn't know why I came in the first place. Take it easy what you did to a real father. What is he talking about? I reckon she's got a right, don't you? <sighs> Still no answer from Lawrence. What are you calling him for? Oh. Cos I'm going to tell him I'm fine. I can't just back out at the last minute. Of course you can. Lydia's giving you bird flu. Yeah, and I never asked her to. I don't know, I've got a good some flipping dance on my own. What? She obviously likes you, and she's giving you a disco lesson in private. Do you not think she might want to go out with you? Do you reckon? You'll have to ask and find out. It's not like you haven't been out with her before, and you know you like her. Yeah, but... What if I've been... friend-zoned? What now? You know what friend-zoned is? Yeah, of course. Well, you haven't, so go upstairs and get your suit on. That's an order. You think you know him? You've got no idea. You think of him as a loving father. But when you actually get beneath the surface... Well, I think of him as neither here nor there. He'd almost be credible if he hadn't sent his pet thugs to half kill me. Are you actually going to get to the point? He drove your father to suicide. Oh, for God's sake, don't listen to him. Oh, you're denying it? Damn right I'm denying it. You talk about thugs. John Richards was the real thug in this story. And I, I don't know why he killed himself, but it was probably because he finally saw himself for what he really was. Why would I believe anything you say? I'm telling the truth, and he knows it. I want you out of here. Well, so you can send Monkey Boy after me again, before I've told her the full story. I'd be grateful for the chance, believe me. Lachlan, shut up. Chrissy, you have to understand the sort of person we're talking about here. John Richards threatened us. Me and your mother. So you didn't destroy him? You didn't have him framed and sent to prison for fraud? He stole from me thousands. Tell her the truth. Do the right thing for once in your life. Your mother loved John, and he loved her. But Lawrence couldn't stand it. By the time he was released from prison, her mind was so poisoned against him, she wouldn't let him near either of you. So he gassed himself in his car. Look your daughter in the eye and tell her it didn't happen like that. I dare you! Dad. Come on, Lawrence. Dad, please. I didn't have a choice. Ronnie, he was going to take them away from me. You and your mother. He was going to take you away. Don't you see? I had to stop him.
The princess's name was Marigold, and she was the loveliest girl in all of the kingdom. Telling stories again. I think we should talk. You should leave. What? Please, Chrissy. I wanted to tell you. I've been trying. Just get out! OK, OK. You know where I am when you want to talk. My whole life has been based on lies. It, it wasn't like he said. Well, so my father didn't kill himself because of you. He wouldn't leave it alone. He wouldn't leave us alone. I was trying to protect you. Do you even know when you're telling the truth? He used to read me bedtime stories, check my room for monsters. He used to look behind the curtains and in the wardrobe and under my bed. Do you remember? You were my daddy. You were supposed to protect me from all the scary things. And all the while, it was you that I should have been scared of. You've got a habit of letting yourself into my house. Have you ever heard of knocking? Why? That you want to talk to me. Seem happy enough to talk about me to everybody else. Look. I know that you're grieving, and I feel for you, I really do, but you've got to stop bad-mouthing me. Well, you wouldn't be here if there's no truth in it. Truth? In what? I've explained everything to you. I thought we were friends. I, I, I know how it feels to lose the man that you love, how I can send you spinning off your axis, but... I am begging you. Please don't do this to me. Emma, I just want the truth. No. No, you're looking for reasons. You're struggling to make sense of your loss, and I, I totally get that. I mean, we all take our eye off the ball sometimes. We're only human. Yeah. James did find his way onto that bridge where he should never have been. Just like Ashley should never have been driving that car on the motorway. So we both have reasons to feel guilty. Please, please don't push your guilt onto me. I found my path with Jesus. Just like Ashley found his way back when he was lost. Just like you will. Is this how you worked on him? Twisting things with your half-baked trumped up. I've been a Christian for five seconds and I've got a hot lunch of God nonsense. How dare you? I take my faith very seriously. Yeah, well, you would, wouldn't you? Because you're running at it at 100 miles an hour, desperately looking for forgiveness because you killed him, didn't you? Right, then. Why not plunder the classics? <laughs> this would be perfect to get us loosened up. Questionable lyrics, admittedly, but we'll not get into that now. I'm not right sure about this, you know. I cannot not just prop up bar. I mean, dancing's all right for girls, isn't it? Well, really, just for girls? Tell that to Fontaine or Beyonce or Pudsey. I don't think Pudsey's a bitch. Well, we can all have our moments. So, are you going to show me your moves, then? Come on, Dad. Go on. I, I can't help you if you don't help yourself. Oh, 
OK, OK, OK. I can see you're not classically trained, but uh, we all have to start somewhere. I had to get out of there. I couldn't even look at him. I think Mum loved him, this John guy, my dad. Could have been really happy together. She was happy. We all were once. <sighs> yeah, but it was all based on lies. All he's ever done is tried to control us. It's just been lie after lie after lie. I mean, he's actually terrifying. Well, he doesn't terrify me. <sighs> Do you want me to take it? No. No, I don't want to talk to him. I don't trust a word that he says. I wish he was the one that was dead. I don't know, I mean, she gets really funny about stuff. No, it can't be all. <sighs> well, she'll have been a right fan of Layla. I couldn't think of it, she's never been a real fan of any of our partners. <laughs> yeah, seems pretty reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's gonna love it when I tell her we're getting engaged. Well, you've got plenty of time to get your story right. You should have some God Squad or something. What, your mum? No, she's at Laurel's, so I'll go in there. All right. Better get your thinking cap on, mate. T minus nothing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I swear of that, come into town with me and Aaron. Well, you could. You couldn't have gone here, you all. Bob, please can I have a cup of tea? Of course you can, yeah. You're just gonna have to hang on five minutes. Hey, but you haven't seen him, have you? What, Aaron? Yeah, he said he was doing something with Zach. Just sounded a bit cagey, though. Yeah, he's up at the house somewhere, I think. But I don't really ask questions. Don't want to know the answers half the time. No. Have you any idea how hurtful you're being? Oh, completely outrageous, what you're saying is. Yeah, it is outrageous. It's the worst thing you can do, kill someone. It's a mortal sin. You're more ill than I thought. You are seriously unwell. Do you know what? I was going to drop things. I was going to forget all those niggly doubts I had about you, but here you are, standing here, as guilty as hell. Ashley saw you on the bridge, didn't he? No. What happened? Did James fall or did you push him? No. <laughs> Just stop, OK? Just stop. They must be driving you mad, holding this all in, so why don't you admit it? Admit what you've done, Emma! Oh, thank God! She's talking like a woman possessed. I can't get a word of sense out of her. No. Oh, no, I'm making perfect sense from where I'm standing. In fact, it's the only thing that makes any sense at all. Please, Laurel, just... just get some help. This has got to stop. I don't trust anyone else to move these. Uh, they were too much. For me, any road. I... I didn't think you'd Forty still... years I've loved you. All I ever got from it was heartache. I'm so sorry. I never meant to hurt anyone. Huh? Well, God help us if you ever try. Why didn't you tell me, Lawrence? Because I was ashamed. I hated myself. And I didn't want you to hate me too. I, I thought I knew you. I thought you were a good person, deep down, underneath it all. I waited and I... <laughs> I waited for you. Please tell me I haven't wasted my life. Loving someone who doesn't exist. Is she okay? Uh, she's pretty upset. Yeah. It's awful for her, I know. Believe me, I do know. That's why it's just. It's so distressing for me to hear her accusing me of those... those things. But I need to... How could I kill James? He's the love of my life. I would never hurt him. Please tell me that you don't believe her. Well... I... If it was just me, then, then maybe I could put up with it. I mean, I can tell that she's ill, but... It's the boys that I have to think about. What's it going to do to them to have to hear such, such 
wickedness. I have tried to reason with her and I, I don't know what else to do. It's okay. No, it's not, though, is it? It's just, it's awful. Bob, please, you've got to try and make her see sense. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Come on. <laughs> how have you lived with this all these years? I don't know. I tried to make up for it. I tried to give Chrissy everything. Except the truth. Because the truth would be too brutal. How is she going to get over this? How are we? We were so close. We were going to be so happy after everything. You're the love of my life. Oh, yeah. Until I do something to displease you, until I cross you in some way, and then what will you do? You control people and you break them and you ruin them. Well, I can't let you do that to me. So, come on, does it, does it evoke half whisper memories of the, the crumbling temples of the Thai jungle? Uh... Dappled in sunlight, drenched in mystery. It's smoky. And it's quite spicy. <clears throat> oh, that's really, <clears throat> that's really spicy. Oh, no. Mm. Um, oh. Hey, you okay? Not brilliant, no. I've just spoken to my solicitor, and apparently, what happened to me counts as consummation of your marriage. It can't. I can't get an annulment. I've lost everything else. I can't lose you. You can't lose people, Lawrence, because you can't own them. Maybe that's where you've been going wrong all these years. I'll never stop loving you, but I, I don't know how I'm going to get past this. Well, well then, stay. Or, or, or we can go to Cornwall like we planned. And what about Chrissy? Don't you think your priorities are, are a little bit screwed up? You're just thinking about yourself as usual. Are you ready? Do you want me to come back? No, it's good that you're here. It stops me changing my mind. No, Ronnie. Please. Ronnie, listen to me. Please, don't leave me. Ronnie, nothing makes sense without you. Please, please. Do the don't... decent thing for the first time in your life and just let me go. to get a divorce. Well, there must be special rules for when you... You know. It'll be a year before I can even start proceedings. I'm so sorry. Really? I'm not. I'm angry. And he's not taking another year of my life off of me. I'm not spending the next 12 months dwelling on that... that man. He can't hurt me anymore. Oh! You're not messing about with that chilli, are you? <laughs> well, I wanted to give it a bit of a kick. Ooh. Have you got anything that won't take the roof of my mouth off? <laughs> the colobus monkey, tiny in comparison to the chimp, doesn't stand a chance. The savagery of the animal kingdom knows no mercy. Both lanes of the motorway were closed today as police and emergency services tried to deal with a four-car pileup. <laughs> Hello, hello, stranger. Hey, I heard you were back. Was it good? Yeah, yeah, it was, um, it was really relaxing. Great. So, uh, I've got news. Oh, yeah? I'm not sure whether you're going to love it, but... Why? Why, what's happened? Me and Lily have got engaged. Right. 
Really? Yeah. Yeah, if it's, if it's what you want, then you have to grab it with both hands. Life's too short to hang about. You have to make the most of every day that we're blessed with. Oh. Thanks, Mom. What are you doing moping in here? Plotting to ruin someone else's life, or have you run out of victims? Don't. Please tell me it isn't true. I don't want to believe that you're capable of such cruelty. There's always two sides to every story. Chrissy is in pieces. Are there any more bombshells you want to detonate? Should we be bracing ourselves, or have we reached ultimate carnage? No, I think that's it. Funny time to have a sort out. Yeah, well... Ronnie left them by mistake. It was me he left on purpose. Look, I don't mean to cry. And I really don't need to know the details. I just can't understand what's happened. He's not the man I thought he was. But you were all set to shiny new life in Cornwall. Yeah, I know. So, whatever's gone on, surely you can put it right. Well, my heart keeps telling me that, but... Pride and stubbornness won't keep you warm in bed. That's all I'm saying. Even after everything he's done, all the despicable lies, all the people he's hurt. Truth is, I still love him. And I think I always will. If he called you now, what would you do? I'd go back to him. How pathetic does that make me, eh? I'm ashamed of loving him. <laughs> this is our favourite tune, you know. Well, I, I guess that's all I've got left of him now. Ha! Oh, listen to me. Sad old fool. He's left you before. You can still get him back. The best thing you ever taught me is never give up, never stop fighting. Oh. At least allow me the dignity of grieving alone. No, I won't, Dad. I won't let you give up on the people you love. Lawrence? Dad is in absolute ribbons. I think you need to come home. I can't do that. Please, Ronnie. He needs you. Then why isn't he the one calling me? He will. He will. He just, um... Hang on. Dad, can you turn that down? Look, why don't you come and talk to Ronnie? Um, just give me five minutes. He'll call you. I promise. Oh, Becca, stop badgering me. Phone him. Tell him you're sorry. Tell him you're trying to work things out with Chrissy, but you need him by your side. You should have seen the look on his face. Because he was hurt and shocked. It wouldn't matter if he didn't love you. Dad? I don't deserve him. Dad. I don't deserve any of you. Oh, my God, Dad, please don't do this. Please don't. Oh. 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 All right, this is your last chance, all right? Stop swerving, man. Call me back. I need my drinking, buddy. I'm going to hunt you down like a dog, you little rat. Come on. 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 Come on.
Oh, right. Yeah, we need to start taking it down now, lad. Yeah. Oh, look, we need these off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with letting off a bit of steam. Yeah. Look, I only didn't tell you because I knew what you say. Oh, is this just another way to hurt yourself? Mate, I'm doing fine now. Honestly, seriously, I've sorted my head out. It's just this boxing, you know, it's helping me get a bit healthier, that's all. Stop worrying. It's not going to work if you're all slumped forward. You need strength in your upper body. Make your head reach for the sky. Really feel your core. Are you not joining in? You could do a few lessons yourself, you know. No, I'm all right, thanks. I'm learning how to not do it by watching you. Think tall, long neck, like a swan. I need a book, something with a hard cover. See if we can sort your balance out. Just ask her. Shh. For me to ask her for you. No, come on. Lydia, you know what would be good? If... If you came with me. To help you out with your dance moves? Well, yeah. Unless, you know, unless you wanted to, like, call it a, a day. I mean, you, you don't have to. I, I mean, only if you want to. I, I know we're friends and everything now. But... I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> you are on, Tony Monero. You are on. <laughs> I think that's a yes. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. He's, he's got a history of heart problems. Yeah, yeah, he's still breathing. Please, Dad, just try and stay with us. The ambulance yeah. is coming. Now, come on, Dad, come on, try and stay awake. Oh. What does he oh. take? What, uh, um, uh, oh. aspirin? Aspirin. And a bisoprolol. Bi bisoprolol. Um, and, uh, oh, God, what are they? What, what, what are the others? Oh. No, it's all right, it's okay, just, just try and breathe. Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll put him in the recovery position. Uh, oh, stop, 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 you're gonna make it worse. Uh, Where are his pills, Chrissy? Chrissy! Stop shouting at me, I don't know! Oh, they're, uh, they're here now. Oh. Oh. I can't take any chances. Yeah, well, I saved them, sorry. <laughs> I need to go to the police. I, I thought you'd decided against all that. Come on, I mean... Laurel, what, what do we know, really? Because, you know, it does all sound a little bit far-fetched. I mean, James was the love of her life, after all, wasn't he? Why on earth would she want to kill him? She's spoken to you, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah, she, she called me after I left. Well, has she convinced you I'm completely mad that I've made all this up? Well, no. Well, I haven't, OK? I know what I'm saying. It's not the grief talking. I mean, look at the way she menaced Arthur and, and everything that Faye said. She's not right. We've got to tell someone. We can't let her get away with this. Are you going to be all right? Please, be all right. I am begging you. Mind out. I'm coming with you. Chrissy? Come on. It's GCS4. We've got to get to hospital now. We'll meet them there. Come on. Come on, we need to go.
coming up this evening here on ITV. A rural stargazing community is targeted by a killer. Midsummer Murders is next. Whilst over on ITV4 now, day one of the Audi Cup Live continues as Bayern Munich take on Liverpool.